doing some spiritual oh it could be spiritual therapy but it's more so like a revelation so um it's a little story but it just shows god and how he's moving through people to help me it's so crazy i've been so thirsty to share what happened to me today okay so I was trying to find me a spot to do my earlier video, right? And before I could do it, one of the um, ladies that works here at the hotel came, was coming toward me, black girl, and she um, uh, was, you know, calling me, hey, excuse me, excuse me, are you Mona Lisa? And then she said my last name, and I'm like, yes, that's me. You know, I'm thinking something's wrong with the room or whatever, so... And she's like, yeah, there's something about some girl has a check of yours. And I'm just like, what? what are you talking about? And she's like, come down here. So I go, go downstairs to go talk to her. She said that some girl had posted on Facebook um, that she has a check with my name on it, a piece of mail with my name on it. And she was trying to find who the person was, this Mona Lisa Whitfield. Did anybody know her because she had got my mail to her house and so I'm just like that's crazy and she's like let me pull it up on Facebook okay so she pulls up the the girl that works at the hotel where I'm staying at she pulls up the Facebook okay she shows me the post and there's this girl sure enough this woman who moved into the place that I just moved out of and she had posted on Facebook does anybody know who this is I'm sure she wants this check and the girl had inboxed her the lady that worked at the at the hotel inboxed her was like I don't know her personally but I know the name and that the the woman with that name has checked in and she's staying at the hotel that I'm working at and so the lady was like okay um let her know to contact me so she can come get it and I'm just like well and I see the messages and so she gives me the girl name and I you know look her up on Facebook and go to the post and just I because I'm blown away at this point no way that is too wild for it to happen just like that but um yeah so i hit the girl up and first i'm reading a post some people's like that's me or i'm mona or whatever it's so funny people are funny but yes it was this check from the state well it's one of the many that i should be getting but um it was only one, so there's three of them that's MIA, and the lady just moved in, so she just happened to get the one that was recently mailed out, and I know the other three that was previously mailed out, I'm sure the landlord took it and, you know, threw it away or whatever just so that I couldn't have it, you know, being spiteful, but, because she was real pissed off, you know, at how the whole thing went down, but, um... <clears throat> It's, it's a, you can see God in this because what she tried to keep from me, here comes her new tenant seeing that this check came in my name and actually tried to find me. And she did find me. That ain't nobody but God. And I reached out to her and was like, wow, thank you. You guys did not. I told the girl at the hotel and I told her, you did not have to do this. You know, you could have thrown that away. You could have not cared. And she's like, I'm a mom too. And I know, you know, things that come for me you know like state checks she knows that it probably was from the state and she knows that they don't forward things and it's hard you know being a, the new tenant she knows she's a mother she knows that's how she was trying to say she, she wanted to help and I'm just like wow you don't know how much that helped me right now in this situation so that's another you know nice that I can get in a hotel room I've been waiting for these checks but I couldn't get them and then there's a to request them from the state again you gotta wait 30 days and so it's the landlord really thought that she was stopping me and look here comes God blessing me in another way that is the power of prayer and fasting this is day three of my fast and I'm already getting money in unexpected ways so I'm leaving it up to God as soon as I let go and let go of trying to get it in my own strength trying to go through all these you know, people that don't even barely want to help me anyway, trying to get it in my own strength. As soon as I let that go and started doing a fast, and you know, I continuously pray. But as soon as I let it go, gave it up to God, said I was taking my hands off. I'm not asking nobody for no more money. 
and started doing my fast, boom, he just starts giving it to me. So it really is just coming to me now at this point. And I just, I'm so in awe. Like, I can't believe it. I'm blown away because that's nobody but God. What are the odds that the hotel where I'm staying at, the girl sees it? And on Facebook and contacts the girl, let her know that she knows how to get in contact with me and come tell me the message. And I message the girl and I'm able to go take a lift over there and pick it up. What is the odds? That's nobody but God, man. Keep God in your life. Keep Him first. He will, you know, give you unexpected things in unexpected ways. You know, not saying that it's a lot, but it's coming. It was the hope that I was praying for. It was the the um, thing I needed to know from God to let me know that yes I'm doing right take my hands off and let him do it he does have a plan for me and he's getting me by every single day so I'm just happy I'm blessed I could not believe I didn't cry or nothing I'm not you know like over the top emotional anymore but it's it does blow me away every time God does his thing so I just I was too thirsty to share this revelation because I'm literally fasting and I know he says to keep it to yourself but I think he wanted me to share this just to show his power right now his power and how he is using all kind of people to help us in all kind of ways to show me that I don't need to worry about anything I don't need to worry about those people that don't want to help me he has people that will and they're complete strangers I don't even know none of these people so I just want to say that everybody have a blessed night I'm about to go you know chill out do my thing drink my little tea I found this cute little cup it's so cute at Dollar Tree with my letter on it it's so cute but yes I'm drinking tea I'm trying not to drink no more alcohol any of that so I'm trying to clean it up detox you know so yes God is speaking to me as soon as I started my little fast and started um, telling him what I was letting go of everything so he could move in my life he's moving prayer fasting really works meditating and letting go and giving it to him really works this is day three and I already got you know unexpected income in two different ways so far so that's all I want to say, y'all. Be blessed. Have a good night. Thanks for listening.